Hi, my name is Trent McGrath. I'm the founder of WideAwakeNews.com and a host on the Rinse Radio Network. Today we woke up to 45 buildings burning inside of Athens. People are freaking out in the streets of Europe. The violence is as worse in Greece as it's been since 2008 when the European debt crisis began and when you can really uh, say that the global debt crisis began. What caused this outrage uh, this time? You know, we've seen crisis after crisis. Why is it escalating? Well, over the weekend, the parliament of Greece decided to uh, implement more austerity onto the people of Greece. It outraged the citizens. In fact, the police union in Greece is wanting to issue arrest warrants for certain IMF and ECB members. Now, the mainstream media in Europe, as well as the U.S., because they're all bought and paid for, owned by a handful of corporations, controlling all the news in the free world, they would have you believe that this is a major stepping stone to a solution in the European debt crisis. And it is a stepping stone for the uber elite. It is a stepping stone to their plan to uh, eliminate any kind of sovereignty that uh, the 500 million people of uh, Europe currently enjoy. Now, a lot of people think that, you know, this is the land of the free here in the U.S. We have representative government. You know, Europe is more representative. They have more representative government than we do here in the United States. 17 nations making up uh, the nations that use the euro as their currency have parliaments. And these parliaments have votes. And these votes matter uh, to implementing things such as austerity and getting their debt under control. Now, they're never going to let Greece fail because that would mean bankers would take a loss. That would mean that these globalist elite bankers would have to admit that the debt they're holding is absolutely worthless. So they will go in and they will use financial terror tactics to bend the will of parliament in order to uh, basically sell the citizens of that nation down the road. Now, if you think for a second that it's done because a, a Greek deal is made, first of all, this Greek deal will probably last as long as the rest of them, a shelf life that gets, seems to get cut by 50% every time a deal is cut. But if you think it's not going to spread there, well, look at the actions of S&P today. You know, one of these rating agencies that was all over the derivative monster that uh, threw the planet into economic turmoil in 2008, now they're suddenly uh, looked upon as uh, watchers of the economic conditions of the planet and they have the best uh, notion, they have the best idea of what to do in order to uh, get the debt levels under control. Today they came out and downgraded a few countries. Austria, France, Italy, Malta, Portugal, Slovenia, Slovakia, Spain, and the United Kingdom. This game is going to continue until they completely eradicate representative government inside of Europe. Now, for those of you sitting in America thinking, well, this could never happen here. Well, let me tell you, it's already happened here. We suspended free market capitalism to save it, and it never came back. Our government is completely bought and paid for, working at the whim of Wall Street executives, passing legislation that makes them uh, make, takes their losses and spreads it onto the back of the American people. And even when they get caught red-handed, foreclosing fraudulently on the people of this country, they get slapped on the wrist with a couple billion dollar fine. Uh, and when we find out, when we look into the details of it, the American people will pay for this as well. When they cut, when they're looking for austerity, when they're looking for cuts in this country, where do you think they're going to take it from? We will have people in the streets in this country. If we look at the top three expenditures of the federal government, one is Medicare, number one. The, two, the second is the Department of Defense, followed by social safety nets, unemployment, welfare, things of that nature. Do you really think they're going to go after cutting the military? We can't do that because we're spreading freedom and democracy around the world. They absolutely need to get uh, the spending under control here, and they're going to come after you to do it. The worst thing that you could possibly do is buy the lie of the GOP or buy the lie of the, uh, the Democrat Party. This is a game. They want you to blame one another for the condition of this country. The fact of the matter is the problems that we're facing now is because of collusion between Washington, D.C. and Wall Street. It isn't the people who bought houses they shouldn't have bought. It isn't the people who are on welfare. We've spent more money in the last four years bailing out the firms uh, for their fraudulent failure. We could have paid off all the mortgages in this country. We could have paid off all the student loans in this country. We could have paid off all the credit cards and auto loans in this country for the money that's been spent to make these uh, corporations whole and complete. But instead, we're going to hear, well, Medicare, you know, we have baby boomers, 11 million a year retiring. We're going to have to uh, look at this, and they're going to call it something like readjust it, or we're going to have to take another look at it. And we're, we're, we're going to demonize the people, the, the lowest segment of society in our country, the people who need welfare, the people who need food stamps. We're going to blame them for the condition of the country. It's a big trap. We cannot play the left-right game. We must stand up and say enough is enough. We know what got us here, and we're not going to let you uh, strip this country, rob the people of it blind, and then blame them for it. Stories are attached. That's all I got.